Hello everybody, Carlos Cervoto here at West Loco High School and we are here with Anissa Garcia as the volleyball team is just getting practice underway this week and coach tell me a little bit about some of the things that you guys are working on this week. Uh, working on a lot, we're really just trying to improve and feed off our returners this um, this year. We have eight returners so we're really in a good spot. I'm just trying to control our side and we're really happy with our turnout. We had a really successful two days. You guys barely missed the playoffs last year, finishing in fifth. What are you guys going to have to do to get back in there? Because you made it your first year as head coach. Yes. Really, it's going to be just us being consistent. Uh, we have some returners, so we're hoping that their consistency this year will really help us get in there and just really use our talent. The new 32 6 a You're going to play, be playing a lot of teams from that side of the valley. The Brownsville, the Harlingen, Los Fresno, San Benito. How do you feel about that? Good, good. Honestly, this district's going to be very competitive. It is. and um, it's, But we're excited. We're excited about it. We're excited to see some good competition competition and we just really really can't look forward to it so all right coach thank you very much and good luck we look forward to covering you this year all right for what's going on at West Loco East and their volleyball team let's send it over to Mike Gonzalez thanks Carlos we're standing inside the gymnasium of West Loco East High School where the volleyball team began practice this week joining me now is 12th year head coach Corina Nava coach uh, brand new season you guys uh are looking forward to making the playoffs for the first time since 20, 2014. Just talk to us about the excitement that's going on here in practice. Well, uh, we do have a big senior group again this year. We've got seven seniors, uh, four of which were on or experienced the playoff experience when we were there two years ago. They've been here every day for summer workouts. They call each other, wonder where everybody's at. They've got their summer league. They were in two summer leagues this summer. They know what they're after. We're in a, com a competitive district this year but we've got a group of girls that are willing to take on that challenge and compete with them. In February, they announced a new realignment for the next couple of seasons. So I want to get your take on you guys playing the Cameron County schools now, Los Fresno, San Benito, the Brownsville schools, and the Harlingen's. It's going to be a competitive district, but these girls like us knew that since February and knew what they were up against because we've seen these teams in tournaments. They know exactly what it's going to take to compete with these teams and, and you know, um, be victorious with these teams so they've been working towards those goals. Coach, thanks for your time. We wish you the best of luck this season. For KW Sports, I'm Mike Gonzalez.